So uh, when we were had our last training in half of our group from Amherst went to Tel Aviv and half of the group went to Amherst and they set up the class in such a way that that the, the material would be taught the first two weeks in Tel Aviv and then the trainers from that period would then go to Amherst and then they would teach it so that there would be a con continu continuity. And during that time, instead of going to class, I oftentimes went to Moshe's house in the mornings. Um, and I watched him, he was actually getting lessons from a physical therapist because all the trainers were busy in the training. And so he had a person that was a physical therapist that came and was taking him for walks. And so one day, um, after this session with this physical therapist, Moshe's, the man's gone. Moshe's sitting, in his, in, he's in a wheelchair. I don't know if people understand, he had a stroke about a week before that training was to, it was to happen. And he was sitting in his wheelchair and he looked at me and said, so what do you think about that? And I said, oh, Moshe, I think I can give you an, a nicer lesson. He says, hey, it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> and, and I have to admit, I went into this, I mean, maybe a five-year-old boy, I just regressed myself into this very, very tiny place because I, I'd taken a little bit of a ballsy place to say, I think I could, I could be useful. It was, be, it, was, it was during my fourth year, between my third and fourth year, I gave somewhere between 800 and 1,000 lessons. I'd, I'd really practiced. And, and uh, so after a while, I think it, it felt like it was an eternity. He looked at me with this twinkle in, the eye, in his eyes and says, it, it only matters what you do. And that was his in invitation. It doesn't matter what you think. It only matters what you do. The next day I'm at his house and he had this nurse who just was mindlessly running around him. And he looks at me and he's like the woman's cuckoo. And he says, and he says to her, and he says to me, she never thinks, she only does. And, and I have to say, it was like, if you know, if you know Carlos Castaneda and you have Don Juan and Don Gennaro, it, it, it's like having a, 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 a trance experience on one way and then the other way. And it's like, I'm sitting there and I'm just so confused between the two places that it literally puts me in this cracked place and it cracked me wide open for a period of time. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. It, only, it doesn't matter what you think. It only matters what you do. She only does, she never thinks. I was just sitting there and my time with Moshe, I ended up spending six weeks after the training. He asked me to stay and I did, and that's another story. But I spent six weeks in those kinds of conundrums with him. He always posed me with something like that. They continued to make it so that I didn't see it this way or I didn't see it that way that I was always having to be in this place that's not this and not that, not right, not left, because, and, and, there, and that, that world opened up somewhat for me, that place that's not this and not that. And, and, and Moshe architected that just with a cleaver, he just cut through the, that stuff. And my poor little mind was, was, was like, just shocked. So that's a good story. It, it, it was very important to me at the time. <laughs>